I have a, a simple question. A man who has a year to prepare for a budget, who is chairman of the Public Accounts Committee, executes a fraudulent con job in the parliament alleging that one billion dollars has been stolen. That's the inference, stolen, voled, fraudulently siphoned out. Then Clarence Christian begins the response. I join him. Um, the others on the next level and the hang joins him. Then Sam goes on Q95 and devastates the lie. The con job exposes it for what it is, a complete and unadulterated deception. Then the Prime Minister comes on this morning, his show having been promoted since Tuesday or Wednesday, and we are finding out yesterday that after the lie that his supporters and the media whore Matt Pelty have been peddling on Q and on Facebook, we find out that yesterday, the leader of the opposition writes, as the chairman of the Public Accounts Committee, which has not yet met, requesting information from the financial secretary. Do you not think we need to question the sanity of the leader of the opposition? I think we do. And I think we have to question not just his integrity, which he knows, which we know to be that of a pathological liar. Are we now to question his sanity, the integrity of his brain and his mind? Who behaves like that after accusing somebody of theft, then trying to ask questions? That conduct requires serious psychological review if not psychiatric review and analysis. And that's the question. Can we now trust the sanity? We know we cannot trust the man. Can we now trust the sanity of Lennox Linton as, as a politician, as a member of parliament, as the leader of the opposition, or potential prime minister or possible prime minister as a human being? I say we can't.